Welcome back to another to another edition to Ant Will Plays. Today we're going to be playing, as always, Perfect Match every Wednesday, even though it comes on. But <clears throat> anyway, I, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen in this one. As always, I don't know. Like it's it comes back. I want to know what happened to Hayden. I really want to know what happened to my baby Hayden. I don't care if she's a robot. She's still, she's still beautiful. <clears throat> anyway, um, let's begin. <clears throat> Chapter 15. Stuck in a frozen wasteland, will you and your friends be able to escape from Eros' grasp? Before the storm. Nadia? And Steve? You tear your eyes from the screen. The one next to it shows Nadia's cell door not far from yours. I'm coming for you. With the guards out of the way, you leave the security room and sprint to where Nadia is being held. What is this place? You glance at the master bedroom. On your right, the bed the bed and floor surfaces are covered with rose petals and unlit candles. Oh no. I know where this is going. I s if you see guys everyone if you see if, if you go into a room and you see rose petals and unlit candles on the floor, you know what you know where this is going. You hear familiar pleads or peals of laughter and follow it to the living room. That's cheating. Oh, never mind. You can't blame me for having better aim. Nadia and Steve sit face to face on the couch. Steve holds a bowl of chocolate covered marshmallows and a and bowl of crowns plays on, t on the TV. He's so, he's so surprised to see you that he accidentally tosses his marshmallow onto Nadia's forehead. Mm. She nearly falls over the couch to catch the marshmallow in her mouth. You're making me lose on purpose. Nadia, were you expecting company? Nadia whirls around. You lift up your goggles for a moment to catch your cousin's eyes. Steve stands abruptly and tilts his and tells his shirt. He offers his hand to you. I'm Steve. Steve Tennyson. Nice to meet you. I'm uh, Anthony. Uh, what's going on? This is no time for Netflix and chill. <laughs> Naya engulfs you in a crushing hug without thought. How did you get here? Are you okay? Of course I'm okay. Yeah, but I don't understand. Eros Naya clamps your mouth with her hand, but Eros Oh I know. Looking thoroughly alarmed, Steve looks from you to Nadia. Everything alright? Yep, we're just gonna go check our check on our softles. Softles? Naya drags you into the kitchen. Takes you to the kitchen by the elbow before Steve can reply. She speaks in hushed whispers. Don't talk about arrows. Steve doesn't know that this isn't real. What? Naya waves her hand in the air, panic growing, growing in her eyes. Arrows reprogrammed him to think that we've been living here the whole time. Has he? Hasn't he tried to get out? It's been less than a day. We were occupied. Yeah, I've noticed. But you're not seriously considering staying here, are you? Naya bites her lower lip. Come on, girl. Seriously? 
You'll get him back. Just... She glances at the living room nervously. I don't know. I mean, at least here, I know he's okay. We're finally... Finally together again. We're safe. Yeah, you're safe. But... Safe. But... Maybe this isn't the textbook definition of real. Maybe it is just an experiment. But I don't care. If this is our only way to stay alive, then... What about us? And Damien, Sloan, Hayden, Nadia... Arrows won't keep you safe here forever. Doesn't Steven deserve to know the truth? I'm not leaving with you. I'm not leaving without you. We've been inseparable for as long as I can remember. Please come home with me. Now it opens her mouth, but you hear Steve approach the kitchen. Those shuffles looking good. Try suicide and... You, you two didn't come here to check on dessert, did you? No. That word you said, it sounds familiar to me. Arrows? You turn to Nadia, silently pleading her to reason, see reason. After a moment, she sighs heavenly. Steve, we had a life before this, outside of this house. What do you mean? This house isn't real. Eros designed this cell to trap Nadia and wear her down to gain intel. Intel on what? And why? Nadia holds Steve's face in her hands. For our first date, we went to went to a painting class, and you took me to a candy shop on the way home. In front of my apartment building, there was a wide puddle, and you laid down your jacket so I could cross without getting my shoes wet. Steve's eyebrows knit together as he places one hand atop of Nadia's. After our housewarming party, you, we made a pillow fort on the roof, a tent with string lights, some music, and you said, if it's all right with you, I'd love Seconds tick by executing before Steve's troubled eyes clear up. I'd love to make you happy for the rest of my life. Realization slowly dawns on his face. He glances at you and lets out a sad smile. Hey, Steve. At the airport, I watched you leave and they... He flinches and closes his eyes. They forced me to... They forced me into a jet, a metal table, and I'm not human. These birds need to be quiet! Ah, sorry. Be right back. Okay. All right, I'm back. Steve. Your alarm lo blares loudly within the house. You hear loud footsteps and shouted commands beyond the door you came from. Excuse me. They're coming. Steve, the security pad beside the door. Steve runs to the door and punches an electronic lockbox beside it. Go. I'll cover for you. Absolutely not. No, yeah, we don't have time to discuss this. This is no discussion. I'm not losing you again. Steve, I love you. I love you too, so much. Which is why you need to go. You look between the two of them. Convince Naya to leave with Steve. To make our cousin happy. Alright. The squad. <laughs> oh. Right. Well. Well, think of it. We'll think of a way to hold them. Steve, you're coming with us. The guards bang on the door. 
This is your last warden. Open the door. The three of you frantically look for some sort of weapon, but there's only furniture available. Naya, help me move the couch. Naya pushes, pushes the couch with you to block the door. Steve falls with the TV rack. The three of you split up to shove as many cabinets as possible against the door. A barricade. Great job. Thanks. Let's go. Naya grabs your hand Anne and Steve's and the three of you bolt out of the house through the back door. There was a back door? You sprint down the hallway from the hallway with Nadia and Steve t in tow until you come upon a corridor lined with barred cells. Is this a prison? It feels like every room here is a prison. Although I guess ours was considerably more comfortable. Wait, I hear something up ahead. Get back. The three of you duck behind the corner. You peek your head out just enough to spy a figure speaking to a prisoner in one of the cells. Here's Darn to Sweat, Nazario. Just answer my questions and this could all be over. Yep. Hey, don't bite the hand that may or may not feed you. Just tell me everything you dug up on arrows and everyone you told. Tell me where my friends are. Why? You gonna save him, Big Shot? Just like you saved that kid in... What? Damien slams his hands against the bars with a furious metallic clang. The guard smirks mockingly from the other side. Oh, looks like I struck a nerve. Yeah, I read your file, Nazario. It's only a matter of time before I break you down. Damien, we've got to get him out. Up ahead, you spot a set of keys on the wall behind the guard. I have an idea. You adjust the coat and goggles from your uniform. I've got this. Tricking. You stride into the room with purpose. What do you want? You have to wait your turn with the prisoner. I'm not done here yet. Boss says you're... Boss says you are. We got a situation in the East Corridor. You're needed there ASAP. Well... Well, why aren't you going? The boss asked specifically for you. You. You want me to radio him with your excuses? No, n no, no, I'm on my way. He scurries out of the room in a hurry. Too easy. <laughs> you turn to take the keys from the wall and find a familiar figure already holding them. I see done. Oh, okay. I was waiting in the hallway to dispatch the guard myself, but you did it. <laughs> Rest. Alana strides over to Damien's cell door and unlocks it, just as Naya and Steve come running up. Naya points an accusing finger at Alana. What are you doing here? Yeah, who are you? <laughs> Steve, baby, this is Damien's ex, Alana, who betrayed us all. Oh. What are you doing? <laughs> I came back for you, obviously. You did? Elias steps into the cell and extends a hand. I was talking to Damien. I have a lifeboat stashed away at the East Coast. It's enough for the two of us to get away. Just the two of us. Just like old times. Damien shakes his head and sighs. This isn't old times anymore, Alana. I won't abandon everyone else. Damien, don't be stupid. This could be our only chance to escape. Don't ex I don't expect you to understand. I know the concept of friends is still foreign to you. I... You're right. I don't have friends. You were the closest thing I had, Damien. Alana, you don't have to be alone. You keep acting like you're better off on your own, but it doesn't have to be that way. You see a mom momentary flicker of pain in Alana's eyes. 
something that almost looks like loneliness. Maybe you're right. Alana turns and strides away, her steps close echoing down the corridor as she, and as she leaves your view. Well, now I kind of feel bad. Should we have asked her to stay with us? I'm not saying what she did was forgivable, but there is some good in her. She wants to do what's right. She's just never had anyone had anyone to put her faith in. Put faith in her. Maybe she deserves a second chance. I mean, there's also safety in numbers, and she is an Interpol agent. It wouldn't hurt to have her combat and ex skills on our side. Recruiting allow to your side will unlock new scenes and alter future storylines. She's coming with us. Alana, oh, wait. You are hurry up. No need for parting shots. I'll be on my way. That's not why I'm here. We want you to stay with us. What? You heard us. We would. We should stick together. Really? Even after what I did? After I proved that I didn't have your backs? It's different this time. This time we have yours. You take a gamble like that f for, on someone like me. All in. Alana looks away, shaking her head in disbelief before flashing a smirk. Then maybe you're my kind of people after all. Come on, let's do this. Alana falls in step with you and the others as you make your way to the end of the hall. As you run down the hall, okay, come on, people. I know this part of. Uh, I'll tell you all later in another time. As you run down the hallway beside Damien, you notice his hands trembling. He catches you looking. Right, Damien, are you okay? This is an unclenched his fist. Eyes on the road. Everyone stop. Naya points at one of the screens. It shows a picture of Orion. You don't think. Everyone hurries toward it. The display crackles before Sloan disappears. I mean, appears on screen. I did it. I found you. Is everyone okay? Yeah, but where are you? Are you okay? How are you doing this? How are you doing this? I've hacked into one of their radio terminals to send you this message, but I can't stay online for long. Friendly reminder, we're still in the middle of an escape. We need to keep going. Where? Here, I'm hiding in their old communications tower. Stay on the outer edges of the island. Head east towards the... Okay, I'm going to write this down. Uh, just in case. Here I'm hiding in the old communication stay on the outer edges. Outer edges. Head to the east tower. Well, Head east toward towards the curve, the curved tree line. Then go north, and make sure you, sure to exit through the next door on your right. Within the next two minutes, the guards will break will be on break. The screen switches to the to a map of Eros Island. Sloan's located mark location mark with blinking blue light. After our breakout, they'll send most of the guards to monitor Hayden and the island. And the island gates. They'll think we're in a hurry to leave. And we'll see you soon. Copy that. The wind and the, sn the, wind and the snow howl around the street, but you're insulted from head to toe. Your boots help you walk with ease. 
and the goggles protect you from the snowfall. Yep. I'd have turned turn into ice I'd I'd have turned into an ice soldier without this suit. I should have taken the boat. I'm sure it's still waiting there for you. That makes me feel loads better. Thanks. You roll your eyes at her dripping sarcasm. Eamon, who leads the group, looks back with a wavering smile. Are you alright? I'm freezing. We'll be there soon, I promise. He uses his body to shield Nadia from the wind. When it changes direction, he rushes to the other side. Ding, ding. To protect her. I'm sorry, the snow's coming from all directions. It's okay. Come here. Nadia stretches out her hand. Steve holds her close. After a long hike with no sound but blue. But the billowing blizzard and footsteps scrunch crunching against snow, you finally see the tower in the distance. There it is. There it... You f your feet suddenly lose balance against the slippery ground. Grab onto a boulder. Ah! <laughs> Down to a nearby boulder and successfully steady yourself. Finally learn how to stand on your own two legs? Shut up. You enter the small building next to the tower. You find it barren with basic equipment and a few dusty computers in the corner. You made it. Arf, arf. Dipper runs towards you and Nadia, jumping uncontrollably. Both of you crouch down to pat her. We missed you too, Dipper. She was causing too much of a racket, so they so they moved her to my cell to calm her down. Which was your plan all along, wasn't it, girl? <laughs> Smart dog. Is that? Sloan, love to see you again. I think we briefly saw each other at the housewarming party. That feels like light years away. But Naya has talked so much about you. I already feel like you're my friend. So you laugh and they shake hands politely. Glad you're okay, Sloan. Thank you for getting us out, getting us here. Sloan opens her mouth to speak, but pauses when she sees Alana step in. Oh crap. So speechless to see me back, glasses. Kind of hoped you wouldn't be back, Missy. I. What? You can give out. What? You can give out nicknames and we can't? Alana stares at her, her in surprise and amusement, but recovers quickly. Alana is part of our team now, at least for the time being. So long as she doesn't sell us out again. I won't. And for what it's worth, I'm glad you're still in one piece, so... Likewise. Now that our reunion has come to a close, how are we gonna get out of here? We getting out of here? Well, first step would be to find Hayden. Exactly! That sounds like the opposite of keeping you safe. N Nadia, I just got you back. I understand that, but... But you don't want to leave anyone behind. Naya smiles at how easily he follows her thought. Steve sighs with a smile and kisses her hand. Your stubborn hopefulness is one of the things I've missed the most. And seeing as Hayden and I are bonded by similar circumstances, smooth. Thanks. Let's find a way to get her out. Let me get this straight. Let me give this a Jake. You want to go back into the headquarters? That's suicide. That's suicide. I know before. I know before. I've hesitated, but no one deserves to be left behind. Left here. Hayden's with us. Exactly. We can't leave because Hayden means a lot to me. Means a lot to me. I'll do everything I can to keep her alive. Your thoughts drift back 
to the cell uh, you shared with Harley and you fill the others in on everything. They made a match who looks like Hayden. Exactly. They took everything that makes her who she is and sorted all of it. Playing creator just to get data and reactions out of us. That's, that's horrifying. I had no idea. Who knows what else they're getting up to. Besides, if the situation were res reversed, Hayden would already be storming in guns blazing to get us out without a second thought. Sloan nods at you before her stance hardens. I'm the one with the plan to get us out of here. So if saving Hayden isn't part of our agenda, you can go. I don't want you to, of course, and there are no hard feelings, but I've done vouching for Hayden. And every time an opportunity to leave her presents itself. Well, this may be my only chance to get even with Cecile and her boss. What's our place, Sloan? Follow me. Sloan leads you to an old computer and types rapidly. I scored our post-dinner footage and Hayden was taken to a separate floor within the building. They have a basement where matches are kept for activation or reset. Hayden was checked in as match 109 minutes after our arrival and scheduled for repurposing tomorrow morning. We'll find her before then. Everything should be ready bright and early. Which gives us exactly five hours of sleep. I'll try to find some cucumber slices to hide our panda eyes. Hide your panda eyes. Steve and I will make this place a bit more homey for everyone tonight. Eli and I will scavenge for late night snacks. I swear, if all we have is pack, it was a pack of mixed nuts. Won't know until we search, will we? A lot of grumbles and annoyance, but trails after her. I'll scout our surroundings and make sure we're still under the radar. Everyone goes to their separate ways except for you and Damien. His shoulders are tense with worry and he fails to mask his agi yeah, agitation. He waves his hand non when he sees your face. I'm okay. It's just been a long day. Yeah. When he speaks, his voice is low and raspy. They brought up Ben Tan, beaten, to get a rise out of me, back in my cell. They know how to press where it hurts, but maybe, maybe it wouldn't hurt as much as if I can talk it out with someone, someone I trust. David offers a small smile as he shoves his hand in his pocket. Do you want to take a walk with me? Um, no. Sorry. Maybe a bit of me time would be better. I'd like to make sure everyone is, else is okay. Right. That's not a bad idea. He smiles at you one last time. I'll be outside. You approach Naya who's tidying up several boxes in the corner. You, hey, you alright? Yeah, I've just been missing home more than usual. But it's okay, I mean, that's where we're heading tomorrow anyway. I can wait a little longer. You know what? Being a fugitive... Being a fugitive... Being a fugitive, not as bad as I thought. You know, I'm really... I wake up in my apartment, do my morning routine, and from start to finish without getting interrupted. Your morning routine consists of a shower, concert, and I'm getting caffeinated. 
you'd be surprised how hard it is to accomplish both on the run. Now I can relate. I miss my endless supply of bath bombs so bad. And I can actually and I actually dreamt of being in my hot tub last night. It would be nice Nice to feel relaxed and normal again. It's like the words no longer exist in our vocabulary. Then what about our new normal? Our old and current lives intertwine? I think I like that. I know it may be silly to some people running around the globe for someone else. It's not like I don't love my life before Steve. Because I do. But he makes me happy and I think someone who understands you who makes you laugh and genuine loves you is worth fighting for okay I agree Nadia circles her arm around yours quickly and rests her head on your shoulder I'm glad we went through this together thank you for not leaving me behind you know I'll never do that. You see, we're cousins, of course. You spot Steve sitting cross-legged against the wall. He dabs and wipes Nadia's soaked shoes with his shirt carefully as if he as if afraid to leave scratches. Nadia made you do that? He looks up and smiles. You know, I just don't want her feet to get cold. I should have guessed. Take a seat next to him. It's good to have you back. It's good to be back. Thank you for convincing me to come with you. Don't, don't mention it. So how do you feel about... Hmm. Hmm. Being reunited with Nadia. Everything that's happened. I don't remember much. I wish I do sometimes. Even the difficult parts, so I can be more of a help. Mine definitely does not seem to be Arrow's for forte. And don't worry about helping. We're all doing the best we can. Steve nods thoughtfully. Every new memory installed buries the everything new memory every new memory installed buries the previous ones and makes them harder to access hard but not possible sometimes you just need to need the right person to bring you back to life he glances at Nadia, who's stacking her boxes into make belief make believe throne. No matter what tomorrow, no matter what happens tomorrow, I know I have someone worth fighting for. In approach along, who sits on a chair, her legs resting on an empty table. She watches Sloan sort of open up open the fridge a few feet away. Not gonna help her with the gleaming eyes it's character building you can't always kick things and hope they pop open actually about what you did back there really didn't you we might as well address the elephant in the room are you still in love with him her poster grows defensively as she rises from her chair. I'm not in love with anyone. Denying it won't get you anywhere. <sighs> I regret letting him walk away. But that's all. He's the closest friend I have. She stops herself from what she wanted to say before letting out a catty smirk. I'll be on my best behavior, at least until we make it off this, I off this island. Wait, we're on an island that's full of snow? Good. 
Alana sconders to the fridge and kicks it hard twice. It springs open. How? You're welcome. Thank you. Your post Sloan, who looks delightful at the sight of a half full fridge, she checks the expiration date, creating two mini mounds of snacks and drinks. Seems, seems you hit the jackpot. And that's not all. Someone gestures you to come closer. Her cups. She cups her mouth and whispers, I found a tent in one of the boxes and built it before you guys arrived. We can make it our own secret hideout, eat our makeshift dinner, and catch up. Don't we get to hoard all the snacks? Maybe we can. Leave them one packet each. Sounds fair. I'd love to spend time with you before, you know, we put our lives on the line again. Exactly. No. I'm good with resting here. I mean, it's snowing pretty hard. True, true. We'll be, well, I'll be outside if you need me. She grabs some of the food and happily steps outside. The next morning, everyone prepares to re-enter Arrow's headquarters. Mm. Bright and early the next day, you and Sloan lead the group as you pl plod through the snow, snowy tracks. Everyone okay? And I'm wearing my wearing this outfit again. Why am I not surprised? Depends on what you mean by I'm numb from the neck down, but at least it's not snowing. Who cares about the snow? I'm ready for a fight. <laughs> well, <laughs> Maybe we should get there first before that. Then onward we go. Sloan points forward like an explorer and marches on Dipper, trailing her behind. Woof, woof. Once, when you reach the hallway, you, when you reach one of the hallways, Sloan points at an elevator guarded by Arrow security. You and the others stop ab abrupt, abruptly. I've connected the security cam controls into my phone. I can play some kind of video on monitors, on the monitors to distract the guards before we perform a stealth attack. Or we could try one of my trusty PI tricks. An elaborate diversion tactic meant to baffle the targets. That's vague. And to be fair, Sloan knows more about arrows than you. I'm no stranger to infiltrations and the art of deception. Trust me on this. Your group quiets down and to listen in the group and the guards. Mr. West is deploying all available guards to search the perimeter. These prisoners must be some, some must be something else. He even dispatch a team to to the old comm tower. They wouldn't know about that place. How would we? All right, we don't have much time. Fingers crossed. Some type of string taps a string of code into her phone. One of the screens near the guards flicker to life. It shows an empty basement with one of them on duty. What's this? He approaches the screen and watches himself dancing to a snazzy tune. His eyes widen and he circles widely around the hallway. How'd you get this, Tanner? It wasn't me. Damon steps out with a smirk. <laughs> Not Tanner, but I like the jazz hands. <sighs> before the guards before the guard responds, Damien's fist connects with the ground with his jaw, and he falls to the ground. Steve grabs the guard's taser from the, its hoister and aims at 
his companion, who also collapses with a thud. Not so chatty now, huh? Teamberg makes the dream work. <laughs> the elevator ride is swift and silent. The door opens with a welcoming ding. We're here. Oh, God. What? Whoa! This place is cool! You look at the machinery on the left. There's Hayden. You point at a figure strapped to a surgical table. Hmm? Dipper sprints toward Hayden. She stands on her hind legs to get a better view. She snips Hayden's hand and whimpers. Your eyes scan the room and your jaw slackens in shock. What the? Huh? Are those? Steve's face turns pale and he sways on his feet. Arm other matches. Everyone rushes to Hayden. You and Nadia unlatch the metal cuffs while Stone tweaks her control panel. Hayden, wake up. Hayden gasps and sits upright. She takes it she takes in all of you. Not not to sound ungrateful, but I'm getting a little sick of waking up like this. Sloan hugs her tight. Are you okay? You remember us, right? Yes, Nadia. But you shouldn't have come here. You help her stand and guide her to the door. Why? What's... A ving siren splits the air. All of you cover your ears and duck in reflex. Oh, great. It's a trap. Attention, Operation Hive Mind. Operation Hive Mind is now in effect. I repeat, Operation Hive Mind has commenced. Everyone to their rendezvous points immediately. Guys. Damien even curses under his breath. Your eyes follow their gaze to the matches lined against the wall. Uh oh. <laughs> that just scared me. I just get the matches eyes open. I snap open one at a time, locking in on you and your friends. This can't be good. No, 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 no. Could have been longer. Could have been longer. A little longer. A little while longer. Just come on. Like, come on. Now I gotta fight. Now I gotta fight robots. I don't know what's going on. I mean, God. I don't know. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys hit the video thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. Share this with your friends. And if you want to get notified of the videos I put up, just hit the notification button next to the subscribe button. And I will see you all in the next video.